Well, hello, great indie warriors, and welcome to yet another episode of Upcoming Indie Games that we are excited for! This episode will cover the 19th through the 25th of June, and summer is really, really starting to heat up now, folks, with some great indie game releases. Before all of those exciting indies get us hot and bothered, though, let's take just a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Monster Mop Up, from developer and publisher TerraHard. Monster rearing is definitely messy business, and the Ministry of Monster Concealment needs your help to keep their existence under wraps. It might sound easy, but have you seen these things? Whoa! They're filthier than a public restroom, and of course, you'll need to find them first. There are lots of ways to play this casual sandbox adventure, and there's even more ways to customize your experience with all sorts of gadgets and gizmos to make cleaning a breeze, or, well, at least less of a chore. You'll even get to personalize your home with all sorts of ways to spruce up the place and make it feel like your own. If you're a fan of the murder cleanup genre of games, and you're looking for something a little less murdery and perhaps a bit more clean up y, that's not a word, but whatever, this is the simulation game for you. These little ragamuffins need a good home, and you're just the person to provide it for them. Make your home a monster sanctuary today with Monster Mop Up. Wishlist the game now on Steam, and again, a huge special thanks to TerraHard for sponsoring today's video. The link is in the description box below, and now, it is on to the indies. They're out there! Aliens Dark Descent lands on June 20th and promises action-packed real-time strategy gameplay set in the world of the Alien franchise. The Xenomorphs are attacking and you'll be commanding a group of Marines to protect the planet from certain death. With an original story featuring your favorite extraterrestrial baddies, this is going to be a must-play for fans of strategy and tactics, and especially fans of the Aliens franchise. Why would they do this? Let me go. Everyone's dying in there. Coming. We'll cover you. Shut that door! Shut that door! The things he found in that mine. What they could mean for pharmaceutics. I wouldn't want any of that. Then think about the revenues these creatures represent. I can stop them. I am so sorry. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Nothing in, nothing out. Where's my daughter? I can't tell you. Where is she? Someone's screwing her. This whole planet's a freak show. Time to shine, Corporal! Get us out of here! She is our bridge to a better humanity. Guns and Gore is the name of the game in Trepang 2, coming out on the 21st. This title is serving up some futuristic FPS action, putting you in control of an escaped soldier with some otherworldly abilities. With hordes of enemies coming your way, there will be blood, and explosions, and brutal melee combat. My heart is racing already. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, 106. Horizon Corporation had you locked away for a very long time. I'm sick and tired We have a mission ready for you. A raid on a Horizon facility, similar to the one we escaped from.
Grimlord, a VR action RPG, is entering into early access on June 22nd. This looks like a title with big, bold dreams, so I'm glad they're taking their time and crafting it in early access. If you've ever watched the Knights fight at the Ren Fair and wanted to participate, this is the game for you. You can implement realistic fighting styles, utilizing all sorts of weapons and abilities to ward off your foes. Speaking of first-person futuristic action, Forever Skies is lifting off into early access on June 22nd as well. Build your own aircraft that will also serve as your workshop and laboratory. You'll be fighting for your own survival as you explore a post-apocalyptic world, upcycle weapons and technology, and rediscover the world. This landscape looks beautifully bleak, and I can't wait to explore what our future holds. Explore and expand with Novalands, a base building resource management title. Novalands is adorable looking with cute little bots that help you along the way. With a huge island to explore and even some combat, this game should keep fans of the genre quite busy. Next we have narrative adventure The Bookwalker, Thief of Tales. This oddly named title puts players in control of a down and out writer who's out to steal items in hopes of reclaiming lost fame. With a variety of books and puzzle elements, The Bookwalker is at least a unique looking indie. Ever wanted to create your own rover? Well, now you can in Mars First Logistics. The game features a robust editor and can even be enjoyed in co-op where you and a friend can build together. You'll also unlock tons of new blueprints and it looks pretty fun.
How's this for a change of pace? Salty Hounds is sinking its way into early access to ignite the flame in romance lovers everywhere. Originally a Kickstarter project, this title combines your typical dating sim gameplay with RPG elements in a charming pixel art style. You'll play as the manager of a bodyguard agency, build relationships, manage your staff, and explore the open world when this one hits Steam and Switch on the 22nd. And that's going to do it for this week, folks. As always, thank you so much for supporting clickbait free independent content right here at iDream of Indie Games. Help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming over at patreon.com slash iDream of Indie Games. We have some great perks including recently we've added full playthroughs of games that we complete on live streams that you can watch and enjoy that way. We also have some exclusive shows and tons of other fun stuff but one of the coolest perks would be Discord access. That's available at every single tier. Once again thank you for all that you do for indies and I will see you on the channel for more great indie gaming coverage.